Hi there, I'm Nanat and you're watching third episode of free Unreal Engine 4 C++ course. Today we are going to learn something essential in Unreal development. Whether you work on a team or alone, you ought to know this. I hope that you will enjoy, so let's get to action. In this episode, we're going to learn what is uProperty, why you should use uProperty, and I'm going to show you one real life situation where uProperty is essential. So what is uProperty? It is a C++ macro. It's also a part of Unreal property system. And it allows you to change variable values from Unreal Editor. So why is it so useful? For example, it allows game designers to change gameplay values without programming knowledge. So if you work with some game designers and their task is, for example, to make gameplay look smooth and change some some gameplay variables, some values. This can be achieved very easily with uProperty macro. So they can do that without programming knowledge. And it can save you a lot of time when you want to tweak some value of some variable. For example, as you can see here, I created this room. I put player start in here. And if you're curious how to create this light, this point lights, shift L key on your keyboard and left click and that's how you create them. So now I will put one actor of flying furniture here. I will click on add component, static mesh, and I will type in wall here. Let's rotate this wall and put it exactly at the entrance of this room. And now let's scale this wall like this. And now wall is blocking our room and we will be trapped inside. What I want to achieve is that when the game starts, wall is here and it is gradually moving upwards. So it's like a gate. So right now if I start the game, wall is moving, but it is too slow for me. I want faster effect, faster movement. And here I will show you why your property is essential. Okay, open Visual Studio, flying furniture class, however you want, and Think about how awesome it would be if we could change this value from Unreal Editor. Well, uProperty macro is used exactly for that. So we need to use variable here so we can change it within editor. So that means that we need to declare that variable and we declare, declare variables in header file. So go all the way down here and type private here. That means that variable can be accessed only from within this class. Type float float is data type for real numbers. So for example, 2.67. And let's call this variable speed of moving up, semicolon. Now we can really name this variable however we want. We can even use, for example, float xxwe, but, but if someone else look at, looks at this code, he will have no idea what this means. So that's why we are trying to you're trying to make variable names express what they are meant to do. And above this variable, type u property brackets. And here you need to pass in property specifier. And there are a lot of property specifiers. And if you look at documentation, you can see all different kinds of them. For example, you got, for example, you got edit anywhere. And you see here what edit anywhere means. You got blueprint read only, for example, this property can be read by blueprints, but not modified. You got blueprint read write, which means that this property can be read or written from a blueprint. Right now we will use visible anywhere. So that means that this variable will be visible, but we will not be able to edit it from Unreal Editor. So this U property macro makes engine aware of this float variable. Now go to CPP file, constructor, and here we, in constructor, we set the default values. So type speed of moving up, oops, moving up equals to, let's say 10.5 F. Now this F means that this number is float. If you delete F, now this number is double. Double is also used for real numbers, but it is bigger and more precise. But right now we need float, so type F. And just instead of 20 here, write speed of moving up. 
and multiply that with delta time. And in next episode, we are covering delta time. Don't worry. So now press Control F5 and let's see what will happen. And now when I click on this wall actor, as you can see down here we got flying furniture and we got speed of moving up. And we see that it is equals to 10.5. But we cannot change this value. Well, how can we change that value? Well, then, well, if you want to change value, then here type edit anywhere, for example. Let's compile now, control F5. And now we can actually change this value. So let me, for example, set this to 15. Okay, play. Hmm, nice, but it is still slow. Okay, let me set this oops, to 500. Play. Well, this is a little bit fast. So, for example, 150. Play. Okay, this is pretty neat. I like this. And now you just saw how cool U property is. But let me show you one more thing. Open Visual Studio. In U property, type property specifier, comma, category, equals to, parentheses, type how, how you want to name this category. For example, I will type velocity for actors. And I will compile. And as you can see down here, it says velocity for actors. And just one more thing I wanted to show you. Click on play and shift plus F1. Oops. And click on eject. And as you can see, you can actually, ooh, you can change this value while game is running, which is super cool. But when you click on stop, this will get back to previous value. Exercises for this episode. Inside Flying Furniture class, create variable that uses U property and is visible anywhere and, and displays delta time. In order to have this window, this details window appear while game is running, just click on this arrow right of the play button and click on simulate. And now you're not player, you're just this free camera and you can click on actors and see this details window. Thanks for choosing this tutorial, see you in next episode and have a great day!